What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. I might just make a whole new segment on my channel called Pokemon Go Antics because Pokemon Go is a huge thing. It's a game I've never played once, of course I've seen it. But every single day there's something crazy happening behind this this uh, mobile game. There's people being hurt, killed, turning up in inc incredibly strange places just to find these damn augmented reality Pokemon. Now, I know it's fun, I know it's enjoyable, I'm just not really that big into mobile games. But this this stuff just it keeps getting crazier and crazier. I'll drop a link in the description. Two men fall from a cliff, <laughs> reportedly playing Pokemon Go. Two men suffered moderate injuries when they tumbled off a seaside cliff north of San Diego while reportedly playing Pokemon Go. Fire officials said Thursday. Now this happened in California. The pair fell after climbing a fence and disregarding warning signs. One of the men told sheriff's deputies that he and his friend were playing the smartphone augmented reality game Pokemon Go when they fell over the cliff's edge, according to the San Diego Union Tribune. The names of the victims were not released. I'd hope these idiots don't want their names released. The men tumbled about 50 feet. His companion fell around 80 to 90 feet, landing on the beach at around 1 p.m. Wednesday. Quote, the fire department had to extricate them with ropes and harnesses and such, end quote. Pokemon Go has become a summer phenomenon, a game played on smartphones in which characters are projected on the screen amid the player's actual surroundings. The goal of the game is to capture the animated figures. Unlike past app-based games, Pokemon Go is being credited with coaxing kids and adults to exercise by having them walk to play, but it also has landed players in hot water. One player reportedly found a body while playing in Wyoming. Some have been robbed and others have become involved in traffic incidents according to news reports. Guys. First of all, it's a game. Your, 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 your safety has to mean something. If there's a Pokemon on a cliff or on a mountain, it needs to stay there. You need to treat it like it would be a real animal. If you, if you Obviously, if your health doesn't matter, you need to just use some logic. It's not a real animal, okay? It's not a real Pokemon, and if it's in a place that you could actually be hurt trying to get to it, Maybe you should just leave it the hell alone and wait for it to walk down the mountain. People are insane over these damn Pokemon. And at the end of the day, what do you get? What do you get? Other than, you know, you got a few extra kilobits on your phone. Boy, 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 boy. You guys let me know in the comments, are you playing Pokemon Go? I don't think there's anything wrong with playing the game. I think it's good that people are actually getting out, exercising, walking around, uh, playing this game. But there's got to be a time and a place for it. You know, there's people out getting robbed and shot at, at nighttime. Uh, pulling into dark parking lots to find these damn Pokemon. Uh, and if you do it in the daytime, do it in, you know, your community, a place that you're familiar with. Don't be out in, you know, an, an area of a ghetto where people get hurt and robbed and killed for nothing because it's just not worth it. You guys let me know what you think about this story in the comments below. Two morons fall off of a cliff in Los Angeles playing Pokemon Go. Thank God they're alive. Maybe they should play another game in the future. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.